all right fancy beauty symbols welcome back to the channel today we are going to tackle the boys room it was a complete and utter mess i am in the process of training uh, potty training my two-year-old grandson so there was a slight <laughs> A slight smell of uh, urine and my OCD and um, no that 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 just was not gonna work for me so today was a good day for me to go ahead and get busy with the shampooing of the carpet I figured while I was at it I will go ahead and try them out again to see if they're ready for their room to be decorated again because you guys know in the house that we moved from I decorated it really nice and unfortunately they didn't keep it up so I'm going to try it again with the same decorations there may be one or two um, new items that I put on the wall but for the most part I'm still using the same decor I did however forget to put up the wall I guess wall shelving the little square things you guys that's been with me for a while you know what I'm talking about so um, I didn't put those up but those will go up soon but you get the gist of just me trying to make the boys room nice and neat as well as the rest of the house so yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get that done I'm just moving things around from spot to spot um, there was I didn't want to have things out in the living room because Jamari is out there and he will totally tear it all apart and I didn't want things everywhere out there in the living room so one neat thing that I did do as I was cleaning is his crib is still up but he doesn't sleep in it and I was getting ready to take it down and I had this thunderbolt idea come in my head <laughs> so I turned his crib upside down and I made it into a makeshift changing station <laughs> and actually it's working out pretty good so kind of like that idea that way when a uh, company comes over uh, because sometimes I have overnight guests they have children you know my, my girlfriends we get together and sometimes they don't want to drive back home so um, I could just go ahead and flip that bed back over and make it a crib again and then the Jamari can sleep in there and then that'll free up another bed so that bed right there this one right here that's Jamari's bed this is the trundle and listen guys I had I bought this trundle bed bunk bed set off of Wayfair Mind you, it's good quality wood. I would totally purchase this unit again. <sighs> but having boys, they have messed up a piece of the wood um, that goes up the stairs. That back wall piece, they somehow tore that apart. I can I can glue it back down. Uh, which is what I'm going to do. So, But if you're thinking about getting this, this is a totally good quality piece of workmanship. So if you were thinking about it, you can rest assured that, that it is good quality. You have boys, however, just expect it not to last too long because I've only had this not even two years and already. And I did purchase the five-year warranty so I will have it changed out I'm just trying to wait until the not the last minute but until at least Jamari gets to be four years old maybe or actually three in his later part of his three-year-old years and then I'll change it out because he'll be a little older then 
So now I'm just going through and putting things back together, which includes these heavy mattresses. They are no joke, let me tell you that from the start. No joke at all. But your girl managed. I know if I could put a TV on the wall, surely, goodness, I could put <laughs> mattresses back on the bed. and purchase some new bedding for them as well, which I try to make up a healthy practice of because sometimes even though we wash our bedding, um, they can still carry an odor. It, it, just, it just happens, with, with especially with boys. Their things just don't seem to be able to last as long as when you have girls. That's just my opinion. So I let AJ and Jamari pick out what they wanted to have. And they, of course, chose Spider-Man, Spider-Man. He's doing Spider-Man. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the uh, new covers or whatever after I complete the pillow cases and the shams. The pillow, the, not the pillow cases guys, but the blankets or the quilts or whatever you wanna call it came from Walmart as well. And let me tell you something. These covers are so comfortable. I'm thinking about getting one for my bed myself. It's got the wool lining 
and it's just such a good quality piece of cover and I think I caught these for 35 bucks I want to say so I picked up two of them of course because I wanted everything to match on that side of the room and AJ absolutely loves it Jamari does too they just snuggle up in the in the covers and hopefully they're having a good night's sleep when Jamari is not up rambling through the kitchen in my refrigerator okay <laughs> but it really looks good I do have to say that it really looks good So it's all done. I got everything up. The wall art is up. And it looks really good. And it smells amazing in here. And the boys absolutely loved it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed as well. And the next clip you will see is me preparing dinner for the day. And we are having the... I think I'm going to make something new today. We're having a um, steak stew. And I'll show you how to prepare that in the next clip. So stay with me. Okay, so for this recipe, the only thing that you need are those size steaks. And I have four of them. And you're gonna go in with the olive oil, coat the pan. I like to use the old fashioned uh, skillet. So I'm using that to put the oil in and I'm just gonna cover the bottom of that with that oil. Let it, um, let the meat cook a little bit and then the rest of the way you're gonna go ahead and add the potatoes and the carrots and whatever else you want to add in with it i just went with the potatoes and the carrots because it was getting late and i needed to do something that wasn't gonna take a long time to cook so i can lay down so i can get rest for my work day and then I'm just going to let you guys finish watching the rest of this because it's pretty simple, easy. You season it to however you want to season it, whatever your favorite seasonings are, and get with it. And that's all you got to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have messy boys, maybe you could take away something from the video. I hope you can. And also if you could use any of the cooking tips. You can use those in your cooking routine as well. I'll see you in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, like the video, and leave your beautiful comments down below. I will see you in the next one. Stay fancy. Stay prayed up. Stay safe. Stay home if you don't need to go out because this stuff is not over with. Hope you voted, and I will see you soon. Stay with me. And I will stay loving on you. Bye, guys.